Hey, Wing, good evening. Hi, Gloria, good evening. Yep, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, Welcome. we can hear you loud and clear. Awesome. Okay. Let's just wait a little bit for your classmates. How was your weekend? Uh, it, was, it was nice. I went to play soccer again. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, but this time we win. Uh, we won. You won? Yeah, but... <laughs> No, no, that happened last week that we lost the final. Oh, a normal, normal game, a normal match. That's nice. And then I spent a lot of time with my daughters because uh, my wife, she has to work on Sunday. So I passed the day with, with, the, with, with them. Mm -hmm. Actually, we went to the we went to the park to play basketball. I'm teaching my my old daughter to play basketball. Mm -hmm. Your eldest, and, your eldest yeah. daughter. Yeah, my oldest daughter. Mm -hmm. So she's very uh, she's very very excited to learn how to play basketball because she said that she's going to that that to play basketball. Is going to help you to grow up, you know. Yeah, that's why that's my mother say to her and she oh. believed her and now she's excited to play. That's what her mom said. Hmm? That's what her mom said. Uh -huh. If she played basketball, yeah. she will get she will get higher. She will get taller. She will get, she will get taller, taller. She will get taller. Really? And, and is she liking to play basketball? Yeah, she she like, but she she has a little a little bit accident because I throw the ball to to her and then she's scared and she and her she his got scared went, went like this. Yeah, she got scared uh, and, and his his finger went like this. Her her finger so, went went all the way back. That, wait wait wait. Her the, finger the only back. Her finger got mm -hmm. pushed. Her finger got pushed yeah. backwards. Her finger got pushed back, um, and she mm -hmm. and it hurt and it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, but nothing. Nothing happened. Just, just. just she just got pain. scared. Yeah, just the yeah, pain. She, yeah. How, the how pain. old is she? She's eleven. Yeah. 11 years old. Well, my my son's 13 and he's he's pretty tall right now. Mm -hmm. And so, so since he was a little bit fat, you know, a little chubby, um, right now he's he's getting his next strengthening. Let's say strengthening, um, stretching. He's getting his next stretching. You know. And and now that that I think about this, last Thursday, mm -hmm. he was complaining about a pain on his back. Oh my god! He, he was like, "No, wait, wait!" He was like, "I don't want to go to school, you know. I don't want to go to school. My back hurts. Oh my god, my back!" I was mm -hmm. like, "Come on, stop crying. Come you're on. not you're not a baby. You're already thirteen, right?" And he was like, "No, really, Dad, it hurts." I was like, nah, you gotta go to school. But but I didn't realize that he's growing, man. That's why his back hurts. Because when you when you're in that age, you start feeling when when your your bones starts, you know, stretching. Man, you yeah. just made you just made me realize that. Oh, oh my god! I have to take him to the gym. <laughs> are, are you still going to the gym? 
Yeah, sometimes. No, no, right now I'm just walking, honestly. I'm just walking because my blood pressure is it's going yeah. crazy. It's going up and down. So I cannot do a lot of exercise. So I have to take care of first reducing my weight mm -hmm. um, in order to, to improve uh, and my, you, my resistance. And you, did, and you didn't do cardio because I really... I used to do, I used to do heat. Mm -hmm. high intensity training you know no high intensity training is like you high you go mm -hmm. you go on the treadmill you go uh -huh. on the treadmill you start walking and then for one mm -hmm. minute then okay. you you rest 30 seconds walking and then one minute <laughs> and then again walk it's crazy <laughs> man but that works yeah it, it works is. a lot it makes you, it makes you sweat a lot. It makes you sweat. The point. That's the point. <laughs> you know, yeah. In general, that's the point. I remember once I was so desperate that I was wearing a sweater mm -hmm. and running on on Boulevard Constitución in the okay. afternoon. In the afternoon, wearing a sweater. Oh my god! I was crazy. I I almost passed out. Came home and I was. About to bust out, you know. <gasps> oh, that was... oh, 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 where do you go? Um, to the intersection of La Juan Pablo and and uh, Constitución. Uh, Cefas. Yeah, to the Cefas. That's right. All the way here from 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 my house to to there. Uh, that was crazy. I mean, and I was. I used to do that. I went. I, I just go to Cefas and then come back again yeah so because that, that, that that's where the um you know the middle lane the garden mm -hmm. lane finishes that's exactly. where, where it finishes i know and I, I was i was following the neighbor you know <laughs> 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 there's a neighbor there's a neighbor who has two dalmatas she, she's uh -huh. pretty. She's pretty. She's beautiful. Oh, I, I know her. her yeah. <laughs> you know her? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. And she has a Dalmatian and she's my friend. Well, her name is Carla. Yeah. She used to have two. She's my neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, but, really? Yeah. She's very nice. And then I used to play with her, you know, like, yeah, you're going again with the dogs, you know, but one of them passed out. It was too old. Do, do, do you believe that she, I, I had not with her? She was my girlfriend. Oh. Like, like 15 years ago get we out of here kids. no what? I, I just tell you the truth yeah oh my god her, her name her name is carla alfaro okay cool <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. gonna hear you you know oh my god really no she's very nice she's a very nice person yeah, i think she's very cool she's very kind i don't talk to her too much you know but mm -hmm. we have been neighbors for over 10 years now she has um, a sister too yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I don't know what they do, honestly, but uh, she's very a, nice. Uh, I don't know what she is right now, but yeah, let's, let's li time. leave the gossip. Leave, cut the gossip. <laughs> <laughs> cut the gossip. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. yeah, that that's not good. Okay, well, nice talking. At least we're no. expressing in English, and that's what matters, right? The most. It was so. interesting. The, the gossip. Teacher. The gossip. The, yeah. Continue, assume, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please, please. <laughs> what happened with the girls? <laughs> really? Not the girls. The dogs. The dogs. No, yeah. we were talking about dogs. Dogs. Don't confuse, please. About <laughs> running, running. No, she does exercise. That's for sure. Oh. She exercises a lot. Mm. Oh well, used to. I haven't seen her in a while. You know, after COVID and all that. Okay, guys, what's going on here? We are nine tonight. I don't see Rosalena's face, Gloria's, Ada's, Gabriela's, Sandra's, and Wendy's. Hello, Ada. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm here, but I'm taking my dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm having, having I'm dinner. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> good, good. You're having dinner. Remember. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, tonight how do I you have... say, teacher, how do you say English? Buen provecho. A good question. Let's see. Who knows? How do you say buen provecho in English? How do you say buen provecho in English, teacher? Mm -hmm. Everybody, I want to see if anybody good knows. Good. 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 good, Sandra. 
is not is, bon, is not bon appetit. That's a Frank. Bon, bon appetit, Italy. That's French. French bon appetit. Bon appetit. I think it's French. Yeah. Let's ask Katy Perry. Yes. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's not bon appetit. It's enjoy your meal. meal. Yes. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your mm -hmm. meal. Enjoy you can meal. either say enjoy your meal or if you are in front of the person, you can just say, hey, enjoy. Enjoy. That's it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, Rosie, enjoy your meal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having? <laughs> I'm having some breads with beans, cream, scrambled eggs. <laughs> Delicious. Very good. Enjoy. Okay, so yeah, that's a good topic, you know, conversation talking about what you eat because sometimes you don't even think how to say what you're eating right it's like, and that's one of the first questions I had when I was a kid how, how do you say frijoles huevo frito huevo revuelto is there a difference okay how, how do they say um pacayas in English is there a way to say pacayas in English is there a way to say how, how what's what's the name of our national flower uh, isote, 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 right? That's isote the in English is isote teacher. Pacaya in yeah. English is pacaya. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I found out too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's start by doing the attendance. It's 8 13 already. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Okay. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Okay. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Hmm. Kenia is not here, not on Friday neither. I think Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Nelson is not here. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Hey, welcome Present. back. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Okay, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera is not here yet. Here we come with Adrian and Stephanie. Good. Okay, so where were we? What do you remember about last Friday? We were, um, we were talking about the models. I can barely hear you, Rosalina. About models, teacher, different models. Yeah, there was a purpose for uh, using the models, right? Right, okay. So let's play something because this is very important. Tonight's topic, tonight's topic is how, it's an introduction to verbs and expressions followed by gerunds. Introduction to verbs and expressions followed. This is misspelled here, hold on. Intro to verbs and expressions followed by gerunds. So we, we talked about this before on the first session. Uh, how how to work with gerunds, ing, after certain verbs. So we're going to emphasize this lesson on using this specific tool. But since we are on advanced two, I consider it will be a great exercise to um, apply what we have learned on Friday about mm, models followed by a verb followed by 
uh, an ing form hmm yeah it's gonna be really really interesting so let's figure it out how are we going to do this don't worry it's gonna be fun i, I was actually teasing my my brain up i'm gonna start showing you some examples of what i am talking about but first vamos a, a ver quién ha entendido hasta ahorita lo que lo que he dicho alguien se perdió quiero que sean honestos así de plan que digan no yo no sé qué estamos haciendo uh -huh. be my guest Hello. Everything is clear, teacher. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think. <laughs> you think? Okay. Okay. So no doubts. Okay. Let's start then. I just wrote some sentences that I believe can be translated into English. Let's see. Let me see. You may start. Quiero que empiecen a traducir esto por su propia cuenta sin necesidad de usar el traductor de Google, salvo que no um, sepan cómo se, se dice alguna cosa en especial, algún verbo o palabra. Solo en ese caso, y lo digo en español porque quiero ser bien enfático en el hecho de que a este punto tenés que darte duro hasta topar, hasta decir no, 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 no le hallo. Ok, claro, ese no le hallo no es voy a buscar todo en Google Translate, right? No. Ahora, ¿qué estamos viendo? Verbos seguidos por gerundio. Y vamos a ocuparlos junto con modales para continuar un poco con la clase del viernes. So let's do it. By yourself, take pen and paper or a pencil and paper. Start translating, okay? Mm. Está como desactualizado. Let me share in the chat what I what we just talked about. Se ve, bien, se ve bien la pantalla. You see okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me see. I'm gonna add the article here.
Good evening, teacher. Hey. Hey, excuse me. Um, and today I will only be at the stadium because I am working. Understood, Walter. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, the uh, first sentence and the second tense, uh, sentence, there are not questions, right? Correct. There are not questions. The first question that I'm introducing is the one that I'm writing right now. Okay, thanks. I think that's it. <laughs> try it try it then just go to the google translate i know you're very smart did you cut your hair Selena? oh come on yes i cut my hair just <laughs> like my brother tells um his his wife con el permiso de quién es like parece niño mine mine 
¿Cómo se dice? Ya va a crecer. Ah, it will grow. Yeah. It's going to grow well. It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Very good. Start. Oh, my God. I haven't added a negative. Oh. Please let me know whenever you're done.
Don't teacher. Super, super. Done, teacher. Good. So we have two. If I reach four before the time's up, can you see the stopwatch? I wonder if you see the stopwatch. <laughs> We can use the model that we think is the correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god okay so after this i will explain you some little about the grammar involved on in this but honestly i mean um you have the two options you have the infinitive you have the gerund nothing is written in rock in the end you know but it's all about how you hear yourself. Teacher, it, it's necessary memorize. Is it, is is it, it necessary? Is to, it is it too necessary? Uh, is it necessary to memorize? To memorize the list of the birds with to need with your to. Uh, to use the gerunds 
we will need to be native speakers. We will need to be born in the United States, you know, in order to to define what really is what. Okay, guys, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Ring, ring. Okay, good. Let's go. So, um, help me. Go go to your Zoom chat and give me number one. Anybody? Just anybody. I want everybody giving me their possible answers. Me? Oh, Gloria. Okay. Everybody else, please write on the on the chat. In the chat. Okay. Yeah, but, but go, ahead, go ahead, Gloria. Give me the answer that you have. Podrías dejar de hablar tanto? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Podrías dejar de hablar alto? Sorry. Uh huh. Stop talking, talking loud. Could you stop talking loud? Loud. Right? Could you stop talking loud? Aloud, aloud or loud? No, uh, out loud, out loud. Did you find it out loud or just loud? Just loud, right? Loud, loud, this lecture. Okay, let's see. Uh, would you let talking loud? Mm. You stop talking loud. Mm. Where is the model? Oh, would, okay. Could you stop talking loud? Exactly. The same thing that Gloria has. Uh, Carla, very good. Could you stop? So why could? Because I'm saying podrías, right? Could you stop? Now, dejar. Stop talking. So the verb stop is followed by a hearing. Yeah. You stop talking. Antes les decía, piensen, el ING activa el verbo, lo pone en su forma activa, a que trabaje, a que se ponga en movimiento el verbo. Cualquier verbo le agregas ING y se pone en movimiento el verbo, lo activas. Ahora, si tú agregas stop antes, detienes una acción. So stop talking, right? Stop eating, stop sleeping. Okay, let's go with number two. Go to the chat and if someone wants to give me the answer. In the case and in the infinitive, no, teacher. Let's see, could you stop to talk loud? Mm. Could you stop to talk loud? Sounds yeah. weird, right? Sounds, suena muy esforzado. Let's see, Does number two. Uh, no, no, it's not. Stop is typically uh, used with an ing after. Just again, it stops an action. You should continue playing the guitar. Deberías continuar. Uy, teacher, doando. Sorry, guys. Tocando la guitar. Okay. You should continue playing the guitar. Me, teacher. Continue. Play the guitar, Carla. Ah, uh, Wilfredo. Um, you should continue playing the guitar. Excellent. Yeah. You should continue playing the guitar. Okay. That's right. Number three, everybody. Somebody give me the answer. And the rest, please type it on the Zoom chat. Sorry, I'll need the gesto to part here, the compliment of Kong Glorita. Uh-huh. You should continue playing the guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she could fear being in the dark for me. Wait, wait, time. wait. No, we're with Seria Lin, un lindo gesto. De tu parte, ir de campamento con Gloria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, the, next, the next one, Carla, later. So it will be a nice sign going to camping with Gloria. Hmm. It will be a nice, uh, a nice gesture of oh your part to go to campment with Gloria. Hmm. Gabriela says it will be a nice gesture of you 
to go camping. Sorry, give me one second. My fan is touching something. It will be a nice gesture of you hmm, to go camping with Gloria. That's it? Let's see, it will be a nice gesture from you. I'm gonna change that preposition. From you to go camping with Gloria. I was talking to you and I sent you an image on WhatsApp about this, go camping, go biking, go shopping. Remember? How do you call those verbs? Those verbs. What are those activities? What kind of activities are those? Go camping, go shopping, go dancing, go climbing, go biking. Uh huh. How, how do you call them? Leisure. Leisure activities. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Leisure activities. Very good. Uh huh. It will be a nice gesture from your part to go camping with Gloria. It will be a nice gesture from you to go camping with her, with Gloria. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Don't forget the subject as, as Gabriela did. It would be. Eso sería. A veces el sujeto está implícito en el enunciado. Recuerden, así de que ese sería no puede solo. En español no puedo decir de hecho. Eso sería un lindo gesto. Right? It's implicit. Very good. Carla Vázquez. Let's see. Ella podría temer estar en la oscuridad por mucho tiempo. She, she could for being in a, the dark for too long. Wait, wait. She could afraid? Her beginning, beginning. Like being like that? Being mm -hmm. in the dark. Hmm? The dark for too long or right. for many times. <laughs> mm, remember that time is uncountable. So for much uh -huh. time, maybe. Yeah, for much time. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What do you think, guys? She might fear being in the dark for a long time. Ese podría. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not could, it's might, because it's out of her control, out of our control. She might, what, what am I missing here? Correct me, please. Exactly. She might be afraid, and this is double F, right? Mm -hmm. Correct me. She might be afraid. Am I? Is this proper writing, Anna Send me, everybody, Edwin? Yes. She might be afraid, double F. Yes. Okay, yes. what else? A fear is, is a noun, it's not there. Afraid. afraid. No, fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. She might fear. Yes, it's a verb. It's a fear, it's a verb, fear, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Afraid or? A afraid. Yeah. I'm afraid. I confused this. It's a noun. Afraid is an, a noun, an adjective. Uh, scare. I scared of the dark. That's a verb. I fear the dark. That's a verb. Fear of the dark. Fear of the dark. Okay, don't, don't pay attention. So she might be afraid. What am I missing? Afraid. Yeah, necessarily. What am I missing? When you use afraid, afraid, it cannot be used by itself. You need a preposition after to. afraid. To be. No, a preposition. No. Uh, oh. Caribbean pirates. Caribbean pirates. De. Tienes miedo a la muerte. Are you afraid of? Oh, afraid don't forget, of. don't forget this. Yeah, oh. you always have to use it, uh, the off, you know. She might be afraid of, afraid of being in the dark for too long. 
she might be afraid of being in the dark for too long. Podría tener, temer estar en la oscuridad por mucho tiempo. Yeah, for too long. For a long time. For a long time. Yay, there you go. Okay, next. Pueden prevenir que los reos escapen construyendo muros más altos. This is a little complex. This sentence is a little complex. Let's see who got it. Come on, man. You're too quiet, Edwin. I write. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I write. Um, I wrote. I wrote. Um, should should prevent that com that the convicts run away building high walls. One more time. What's the model okay. that you're using? Should 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 prevent prevenir prevent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh huh. That the convicts. That the convicts. Uh huh. Run away. Run away. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Building. Hmm. High walls. Hmm. Um. <laughs> That's what you said, right? Higher yeah. what? No, high walls. Oh, high? High walls. Walls. Okay, got yeah. it. Oh, wait, but that, yeah, and the is right. It's higher. It's a, a, compar a comparison, right? Yeah, yeah, higher higher walls. Okay, it, who can help me? Are you agree with this? I'm sorry. Do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? Actually, I don't because probably you can use they should. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, they should. They should prevent. Now, what is the grammar tense of this sentence? They can, teacher. Excellent. They okay. can prevent. They can that combat or inmate okay that convicts okay escaping hmm. escape uh, uh, no now we went through, through la tangente wait they okay. can prevent now pay attention to this because this is a topic that you haven't studied yet. They can prevent inmates from escaping or running away by building higher walls. I could even, I could even, um, you know, prevent or um, avoid using by, they can prevent inmates from escaping building higher walls. Okay, I could do that. And even that even sounds better, right? I can prevent, I mean, they can prevent inmates from escaping by building higher walls, from escaping, building higher walls. Now, hmm. actually, no, I need the by. And this is the next topic. Some prepositions are necessary. If you don't add some prepositions, the, the meaning of the sentence changes. Okay? Si no agrego ese by, sería, pueden prevenir que los reos escapen construyendo um, paredes o muros más altos. Estoy diciendo que los reos escapan construyendo muros más altos. <laughs> Ajá, entonces ese by le da el sentido de que por medio de, o sea, aunque no se traduce, ¿eh? sigo diciendo lo mismo, pero ese by le da el sentido de que la solución es construir unos más altos. Ok, y entonces, teacher, ¿a dónde está aquí el tema de verbo más ing? ¿Quién me lo explica, Rapín? ¿Cuál es el verbo y el verbo que le precede con ing?
prevent in building. Mm -hmm. Close, close. Prevent is the verb in its base escaping. form. Escaping. escaping, that's right. Prevent, escaping. So yes, you can add an object in the middle. Teacher, but how, how do you identify? Because for me, when I'm prevenir is like a suggestion for me. Oh, okay. They can prevent. Simple present. Hmm. Pueden, ellos pueden. Um, sería diferente, Rosalina, si dijese, puedes prevenir. Hmm. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Puedo prevenir. <laughs> there is, that's the only exception for us, for Latin Americans. You know, we have to think in Spanish when it comes to translating, right, from English to Spanish. Uh -huh. how, how do you? Estoy uh -huh. Exactly. How do you conjugate those models? Okay. Next, deberíamos de comenzar a hablar con los niños sobre las abejitas. Escape. Escape and build higher walls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deberíamos de comenzar a hablar con los niños. You shouldn't start talking. Wait, wait. Uh, did you say shouldn't? No, we should. Okay, okay. We, uh -huh, nosotros deberíamos. We uh -huh. should... Start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Let me... we should start... Don't don't doubt. Don't doubt. <laughs> we should start talking with the children about beef. Oh, oh we have the children about the bees. <laughs> the beef. Uh, the beef. The bees. Yeah, exactly. the bees. <laughs> <laughs> About the bees. Now, in this case, the little, bees. the little bees. Yeah. About the little bees. Now, in this case, the article is necessary. Why? Why is the article necessary in this specific situation? We should start to talking. Mm. No. Mm -mm. No se puede agregar mm -hmm. la preposición to. Oh, yes. Yes. Ajá, salvo que esté en infinitivo. Veamos. Ahora, ¿cómo me escucho, Rosalena? We should start to talk with the children. Mm. No. We should start talking. Y esa es la pauta que yo creo que ustedes agarran, que digan, uy, espérame, ver, quiero ver. We should start talking. We should start to talk. talk. Que soy mejor. No, it's to start talking. Yeah. Sí, ese oh. pensamiento rapidito así. Uh -huh. About... What? Sandra? On. Mm. On little bees. No, no, no. Quería preguntar mm. por qué es necesario el artículo the en esta oración. ¿Por qué no lo puedo obviar? We should start talking with the kids, with the children or with the kids. ¿Por qué se refiere a ellas? A ellas. Ajá, yes. es como, es como un tema que todo el mundo conoce, así como ya está en el contexto. Ok, it's like if I tell you, hey, Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That's a saying. Hey, let's start talking about the elephant in the room. Empecemos a hablar sobre el elefante en el cuarto. Mm. ¿Quién, ¿Quién se sabe ese, ese dicho? Nobody? Hey, let's, hey, we should talk about the elephant in the room, you know? Let's talk about the obvious. Let's talk about the obvious. Okay. Empezas a notar que tu hijo ya se está llevando la ropa, ya. A veces no llega a dormir a la casa, right? Ya tiene su trabajo, de repente sale con un carro y bien galán, ya no te dice nada. So, that's when you use that phrase. You should start talking about the elephant in the room, boy. Okay. Next, ¿dejarás de hablar acerca de tu ex empleo algún día? <laughs> How do you say ex empleo? 
We should start talking to children about bees. Hey, that's that's good too. Like, yeah, we should start talking with the kids about bees. Yeah, both are right. Deberíamos empezar a hablar con los niños acerca de abejas. Pero ese es el punto. Si no pongo about the bees, about the little bees, se se podría malinterpretar. Acerca de abejas. ¿Para qué vamos a hablar de abejas? About the bees. Oh, the bees. Las abejitas. Okay, good. ¿Dejarás de hablar acerca de tu ex-empleo algún día? Should you talk about your ex-employment? Mm, think, 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 think. I, Will I, you... My sentence lack the other... The, you you the missed... Stop. You missed stop. Stop. Yeah. Stop, stop. Yeah. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. let's think. Dejar. Uh, Dejé, Le. dejado, dejaré, mm, dejarás, tú dejarás. That's future. Good job, Wendy. Will, will you stop talking about your ex-employee? Mm. One day, will you stop talking about your former job someday? Ding, 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 ding. Very good, Gabriela. You got it. Former. Will you stop talking about your former job someday? Former is the past. Former. Former. Let's see, uh, Anna Selmi. Who is the former president of El Salvador? I don't know what is the for, what is the means former. The former president of El Salvador was Brady. oh my god i forgot uh, salvador sanchez <laughs> right yeah thank, yeah, thank, thank god thank god i forgot sure, okay. why <laughs> why you forgot i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i just had a, i went he blank was, i'm sorry he was very active teacher <laughs> No, I'm sorry. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. okay. Don't know. worry. Focus, focus, and send me focus. It was an irony. It, former, I mean, former is previous teacher. Former means previous. That's previous. right. What was your former job? What's your former job? And I said, me. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like saying previous exactly. Yeah. So, will you stop talking about your former job someday? Excellent, Gabriela. Good job. Next, serías tan amable de ir de compras conmigo y mi abuela? Ah, Patricia, ajá, uh -huh. we missed that your. Ahí faltó el adjetivo posesivo de Patricia. Would you stop talking about your former job one day, someday? Would you be nice going to shopping? Would you? Este, ojo con los modales, chicos. Acuérdense del significado de cada uno de los modales. Este cuadrito en WhatsApp. ¿Serías tan amable de ir de compras conmigo y mi abuela? Serías. ¿Hay algún modal que signifique serías? Mm. Susana, again. Excelente. Uh -huh. we'll... Say it again. Uh huh. Say it again, Susana. You got it. You got it. You could be Kane. Oh, you said it. Would you be, be kind? Kind. Uh huh. Kind. It's just kind. we're we're missing. Me. Go ahead again. I'm sorry, Susana. I can barely hear you. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you be kind? Go shopping with mine, uh, with me and my grandma. No, it's bad. This. The donkey goes at last. The donkey goes at <laughs> last. Very good. Would you be kind to go shopping with me and my grandma? Yeah. With my grandma and me? Let's see. Actually, you know, I have seen so many Americans not making a distinction in this part. They don't pay attention to that. 
but it but it's true. I mean, we do, we do. With my grandma and me. Okay, what are we missing? Let's see, uh, Patricia. Would you be so kind to go shopping? Perfect. Would you be so kind? Tan amable. I use this sentence a lot. Would you be so kind to confirm your address for me, please? Sure. Would you be so kind? Now, this. The same with us. Uh, wait, uh, Patricia's got it, actually. Would you be, I'm just going to copy and paste. Yeah, you can say with us, that's true. Uh, I just wanted to, to try you. I wanted to try you, test you. Would you be so kind to go shopping with me and my grandmother, with my grandmother and me? It's the order of the factors doesn't alter the uh, guacamole, so we're fine. This my is mathematics, this English. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you're you're transmitting the message and that's is important. Let's see. Would you be so kind to go shopping with me? I just got lost, I'm sorry, with my grandmother and me. Good. Good job. Next, this is like the bonus. This is the bonus, okay? This two. No se te olvide tomar amo. Am I using models? Should not forget. Only don't, don't forget. forget. Yeah, I'm not using models. Don't Susanna? Don't forget. Only don't forget. Don't forget. Drinking water. water. Don't forget <laughs> drinking water. That's it. Hey, don't forget drinking water. That's it. Forget drinking, forget eating, forget crying, etc. Solía odiar estar solo. Intenta estar casado. I used to hate being alone. Excellent. Like being married. <laughs> I used to hate being alone. Being alone. Okay. You try being married. And then the, the other person says, yeah, try. Being. Being. Marriage. Uh, yeah, let's just be. Okay. Try being married. Married. There you go. Try being married. 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 There you go. Try being married. Again, I'm listening. Married. Yes. Perfect. Try being married. Try being married. Try being married. Faster, faster. Try being married. Try being married. There you go. Try being married. Now put some sentiment on it. Man, try being married. Yeah. Try being married. Try being married. It's difficult, but tougher. Did you like that? It was awesome, right? So good, the good practice. Where is your WhatsApp? Before I do the attendance, man, I run out of time, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Let me do the attendance before we move to the next part of the session. And there you have all of the expressions we've learned. Any new words you learned from that exercise? Okay. Para Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Cameras, cameras. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Arazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. ¿Eh? Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Where's Kenia? Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Hmm. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Is there? Okay. Recordarles, por favor, que no se pueden ausentar a más de tres sesiones virtuales, puesto que esto ya es irrecuperable, ¿verdad? Llegar al 80%, que es el mínimo requerido para poder pasar el módulo. So, let's move on. Tonight, we have to uh, practice the, the previous topic a little bit. Give me just a second. Okay, so let's see. I have a little presentation that I found and I liked it. Give me just a minute. Let's go to this first slide of this presentation. There we go. It's all black. I'm gonna need your help, okay? Reading, if somebody can help me reading. Say, me, teacher. Say, me, Rosa, me, Susana, me, Gloria, whatever you want to say, but say me first, okay? Reading, reading, reading. No, okay. In English, we can sometimes use can I? a verb. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Verb plus your own. In English, we can sometimes use a verb followed by a gerum. Susan suggested going to the theater. Excellent. Susan suggested going to the theater. Yeah. Very good. Theater. Suggest, suggested because... going. Okay. Continue. Okay. Those verbs which are followed by a gerum are a boy, suggest, mind, will, will mind, keep, keep on, carry on, look forward to, enjoy, can stand, admit, and consider. Good. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Carla, give me an example with avoid. Avoid. Mm. And... Uh, you 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 should you should avoid you should avoid uh, uh, you should avoid uh, eating. You, you, ah, muy bien. Yo estaba pensando en comer también. A ver, yo siempre evito comer. Comida rápida en la noche. A uh, ver, Carla. Ok. I. Uy, yo siempre. Always. I always. Ok. I always avoid eating fast food at night. You got it. That's it. Simple. Perfect. I always avoid eating fast food at night. Yeah, it gives me like. How do you say agruras in English? Haha, uh -huh, continue. Let's see, suggest, Rosalena, suggest. Um, I can suggest, I can suggest, oh my God. <laughs> I can suggest another movie, can I say? Uh -huh. Suggest, I-N-G. Oh, I suggesting? Mm -mm. No, I suggest, I suggest, Watching another movie. Excellent. I suggest watching another movie. Excellent. Mind. Wendy Patricia. Where are you now? I need you now. If you were around. You will give us an example. She's not there. Okay. Sandra, are you there? Again, Edwin Alexander, mind. Uh, 
I don't mind that it's going to be rain today. Uh, again, I don't, I don't mind. mind. I don't mind that it will be rain today. Uh, okay, mind ing. Mm -hmm. Mind plus a verb with ing. Okay. No me importa jugar basket. No me importa jugar. I don't bas mind playing regla. basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't mind playing basketball. Uh -huh. Under the rain. You got it. I didn't mind playing basketball under the rain. Excellent. Okay. You got it. Okay. Would mind. Wendy Patricia Molina Menendez, are you there? No. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Caldanes. Would mind. Would you mind the verb ing? Would you mind? Would you mind having? Again, having? having, okay. Would you mind having? Um, would you mind having the would you having <laughs> she's like help me here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would you mind would you having, having the, the, the guitar mm. would you mind having the guitar for me mm. the play the guitar mm -mm. okay no. would you mind playing the guitar playing would the there you go. Would you mind playing the guitar for me? Te importaría tocar la guitarra para mí? There you go. You mind playing the guitar for me? Okay. Good job. Let's see. And so on, guys. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if Susana wants to continue. Keep. I remember the sun. I just keep on loving you. <laughs> Only uh, <laughs> I just keep loving you. I keep loving you. Yeah. I, I was thinking, I keep loving you. I, but that's not the way it yes, goes. It's a song. What song? Michael Jackson? No, no. No, are you, are you, are you I just want to sleep. I just want to keep on loving you. The movie. Oh, yeah. 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 Excellent. Very good. You see, it works. That's right. Gabriela Alejandra, good job. Keep on. Uh, you should um, keep um, making exercise. Good. Good job. You should keep on making exercise. Actually, it's doing, doing exercise or exercising you should keep on exercising you should keep on doing exercise it's okay um hmm. you should keep on going listen you should keep on going when when somebody is driving you can use this sentence you know it's like hey you should keep going keep on going keep on going keep on going carry on carry on and send me You carry on studying English until that you complete the English program. Excellent. That's an order. <laughs> Great job. Okay. And so on, guys. Now, be careful. Look forward to. Okay. I don't know why this is here. It shouldn't be here. Uh, look forward to. You cannot use look forward with ing let's see look forward meeting you no look forward to meet you look forward to now what you can do and i want to do emphasize on this if you finish an email how do you close an email you can say looking forward Okay, looking forward for your reply, from your reply. Looking forward for your reply. Looking forward to, to meet again. Looking forward to meet again. Looking forward to know about you, comma, and a me. You got it? 
y look forward to it is in an uh, you wait. Exactly. A espera de. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to receive news about you, looking forward to know more about you, etc. Enjoy and so on. Joy can stand. I can stand eating too late. I can stand um, sleeping after 8 a.m. anymore. I'm too old. Okay. I admit, I admit drinking too much is not my thing. I admit lying is not something I like. Consider, you should consider or please consider getting married. Please consider getting married. Please consider um, getting a job. Please consider studying more. Got it? Teacher, it's correct. Say, I will consider go to the beach. Okay. Going, going to the beach. Eh, there you go. I will consider going to the beach. Now, be careful. Uh, when did you say, is it? Is it correct? Is, isn't correct. Is it correct to say? Is I say correct? is correct. <laughs> yeah, is we all we all make that mistake. Don't worry. Isn't correct. Uh -huh. isn't, isn't. No, 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 no. Is it? Is it? Is Acu it? Acuérdese. Ajá. Uh -huh. Acuérdese la estructura. Uh, Verbo to be. Sujeto. Is. Right. Complement. Okay. Is, is it? Is it? Is it correct? Okay. So, the other hand. On the other hand, the other side of the tortilla. Verb plus infinitive. Which is the opposite, right? The normal thing, what we usually use. We decided to have a nice time playing board games. Those verbs which are followed by an infinitive with two are wish to, want to, decide to, agree to, manage to, expect to, hope to, would like to, refuse to, etc. And make and let without to. Be careful. You make me feel nervous. Woo. What was that song? My love. Uh -huh. God bless you. You make me feel brand new. That's right. Now, this is called indirect object. I love that version of Simply Red. Yes. Yeah, that's that's a good version. Okay, so indirect object, and it's a separate topic. You have an object in the middle. You make me feel. Okay, so examples. Oh, verb plus infinitive. This is not ing anymore. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, oh, you, you can't be an example, right? Wendy is avoiding her responsibility to give an example. Wendy. Wendy Patricia Molina Menendez, come on. <laughs> She's busy maybe with the kids, okay. Somebody, give an example, someone who hasn't participated if possible. Wish. There are exceptions to this rule I as well. wish to have I think. Uh -huh. A what? I wish. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, you said it. I wish to have. I wish to have. Mm -hmm. nice day. A nice day. A nice day. A nice day. day. Okay, I wish to have a nice day. Yeah. So be careful because this could happen using an indirect object. If you say that phrase to someone else on a sell me, I'm sorry, teacher. If you say that same phrase to someone else. Same phrase. Yeah, I wish to have a nice day. If you say it to your boss, how would you say it? Mm. I wish that you have. Let's see, I wish that you have a nice day. I wish that you have a nice day. Yeah, that will work. I wish you a nice day. I wish you a nice day. Okay. 
want, want to, want to. Want to. Easy, easy, want to. Is the, is the expression the one is, the, is one two teacher? Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. I, I didn't read your message before. Sorry. It's okay, Wendy. Sorry. Okay. Uh huh. The expression the one is the one two. Yes. Perfect. Good observation. Anna, send me. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go. I want to eat. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Se lo ocupan mucho los americanos. Se comen el sujeto, de hecho. Hey, wanna tell you something. Hey, wanna tell you something. Ni siquiera el I se escucha. So wanna tell you something. Okay, good job. Decide to agree to. Well, this is out of the topic. I'm just gonna move because this is what you use every day in a daily basis. You use this. So let's continue with some examples. We must take care with those verbs which admit both a gerund or an infinitive after them, but the meaning changes, okay? So if, be careful with the meaning of words. The verbs are stop, finish, begin, start. Remember, forget, another synonym, try, regret, love, like, prefer, hate, go on, continue. We have some examples. Uh, the first are synonyms, stop, finish, begin, start, right? Remember, remember is an antonym of forget, right? It's the opposite for remember, forget. Okay, let's see some examples of this, this issue yeah, here. Teacher, yes, my question me. is, there are all the verbs and you can use the same in the in same rule of or gerunds or there are some verbs there are some verbs and me okay. but in my experience i will tell you don't go there <laughs> don't go it, there it, it is similar just, to the fraser verbs teacher yes <laughs> just practice make mistakes but learn eventually little by little because if you try to memorize all these verbs it's too much information um listen to yourself that's the most important thing how it sounds better with or without the gerund let's see and and this is the important part aquí está lo importante qué significa qué soy qué mensaje estoy dando Se agrego o no el, el, la preposición. So let's see, el two. Stop plus gerund. My father stopped smoking in 2005. He stopped smoking. Now, my father stopped to smoke in 2005. Número uno, mi papá. Dejó de fumar. Stopped smoking en 2005. Número dos. My father stopped to smoke in 2005. Estoy en una tienda. Mi papá paró a fumar en 2005. Aquí. Estaría incompleta la oración. Here. Okay. My father stopped to smoke in 2005. Here. ¿Tiene sentido? What is the right sentence? The stop and Ambas smoking? están bien. Y eso quiero they dejarlo bien claro. Meaning. They have different meaning. Okay, si ocupas the and, and the gerund and the infinitive. That's right. So if I say my father stopped smoking, le decía stop, detiene una acción. Uh, en este caso, de detuvo esa acción que estaba latente. My father stopped smoking. Okay, in 2005. Sin embargo, my father stopped to smoke in 2005. Estaría incompleta la oración. Mi papá se detuvo a fumar en 2005. Aquí, here. Okay. In this case, is the... It's better. Better 
the smoking. Exactly. To use mm -hmm. the verb plus in, plus ing plus urine. Let's see. Stop plus an infinitive. We stop to have a rest at the petrol station. The same example. To stop so that you can do something different. To stop for a specific reason. We stop to have a rest. I would have said we stop to have some rest at a petrol station. Some. Yo hubiese ocupado some en lugar del artículo A. Can somebody translate this sentence? We stop to have a rest at a petrol station. Nosotros nos detuvimos a tener un descanso en una gasolinera. That's it. That's it. A descansar, a, tener, a tomar un descanso, a agarrar aire. Okay. Let's go with remember. Remember, I mean, are we clear on that? Estamos claros acá? Yeah? Okay. Remember plus gerund. I can't remember turning off the lights. I can't remember turning off the lights. Vamos a ir aplicando las dos cosas. Veamos si podemos. I can't remember turning off the lights. Who can translate? Quickly. No recuerdo si apagué las luces. Literal, no right? Si apagué las luces. Mm -hmm. No puedo recordar si apagué las luces. And if I say I can't remember to turn off the lights, I can't remember to turn off the lights. Listen to the intonation. I can't remember to turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. No puedo recordar apagar las luces. Me llamó el vecino. Y dejaste las luces encendidas de tu casa y te fuiste. ¡Oh! Puedo recordar apagar las luces. So, el contexto puede cambiar. Cuidado, eh. I can't remember turning off the lights. No puedo recordar. Ajá. Apagar las luces. Haber apagado las luces. Prácticamente lo que decía Susana. Perfect. Let's see. I must remember to turn off the lights. So I can't remember to turn off the lights. I must remember to turn off the lights every time I leave my house. I must remember. Easy? Okay. This, so, this the well, part I think is more confused. Why? I, also, I need more practice because... Mm -hmm. you know, I don't yeah. remember. I don't remember another other time. It's just. No, no, no. A ver, esto es mucho. Tiene mucho que ver, Susana, con lo mismo que en el español. Cómo expreso las ideas. No puedo recordar. 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 No puedo la traducción mejor para esta oración. I can't remember turning off the lights. Ahora bien, I can't remember to turn off the lights. No puedo recordar apagar las luces. No puedo recordar apagar las luces. Siempre me pasa lo mismo. I just can't. Una maña que tengo. Lo mismo acá. Entonces, ¿cuál es la solución? Debo de recordar apagar las luces. I must remember turn off the lights, okay? Good, no. um, let's see more examples. I'll, I'll send you this. Let's go and this presentation. Try plus gerund. I told them to try playing different version. I told them to try playing a different version. I told them to try playing a different version. To experiment or to try something different. With infinitive, they try to find Joseph's mobile to make an effort. Aquí sí no habría variación. I told them to try to play a different version. I told them to try playing a different version. Eh, repito, aquí no hay variación. Ocupo to try, eh, perdón, to play or playing. It's it's okay. The same meaning, right? Okay. They try to find Joseph's mobile. 
to make an effort. They tried finding Joseph's mobile. De nuevo, no hay variación en el sentido que se está expresando, lo que se está expresando. Intentaron encontrar el celular de Joseph. De ambas formas, si ocupo el infinitivo to find or finding, estaría bien. La misma idea estoy transmitiendo. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. And so on. There are other examples you can watch in this presentation. Let's see. As, if, as the subject. Y eso es lo que hablábamos antes, ¿no? Ocupar gerundios como sujetos. Running is a good, it's good for your health. My favorite exercise is running as an object. Subject, object. Or after a preposition. Before, before opening the door. Turn off the lights. I'm afraid of flying. Okay, so before opening the, the door. Um, after having dinner, don't go to bed right away. After having dinner, don't read books. That's what my grandma used to say. After having dinner, don't read books. Because you're gonna, you're, you're gonna end up like, uh, let's see. <laughs> like, what, what are you saying, right? Used to be very funny. Okay. Um, subject, object, and that's it. That's it, basically. Oh, okay. So I'll send you that presentation. is in is on the slides. Sure, I love those little things. Are very helpful. Now, what are we gonna do? Let's practice. Let's practice. I mean, there's a whole world of verbs that you need to practice. So. Let's do it fun, okay? Um, espero que nadie diga, ay, no, si no soy un niño de tercer grado. <ríe> Créanme, a muchos, aún, aún no somos, eh? ¿eh? Ante todo en el aprendizaje de un idioma, eh, cuando se hace un nivel básico, pues tenés que leer libros de un niño de uno a siete años, de, como se diga, eh, hasta los siete, de ahí a... Um, Nivel intermedio de 7 a 12, nivel avanzado, ya tendría, tendría que leer algo más como el CNN, noticias, ¿ya? En nuestro caso vamos a jugar algo. It's in your WhatsApp and your chat here as well. Eh, les voy a dar solamente, let's see, 13, 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Eh, Pueden tomar una pausa e ir tomando notas si encuentran algún verbo nuevo, ¿ok? Sorry if I'm talking Spanish, but I just want to take advantage of the time. That's a fun game. Um, teacher, that's for kids. Hmm. Try it. <laughs> ok. Let's go ahead and try it. Make sure the monkey eats the bananas, please. Don't make him cry. Okay, so we have 12 minutes. Go ahead. Aquí vamos a estar. Si alguien tiene alguna duda o pregunta cómo usarlo, give it a try, okay? Come on, guys. You can do it. ¿Alguien tuvo problema para accesar? ¿No? ¿Adita? ¿Todo bien? Eh, lento, Tisha. Lento. Sí. sí. ¿Para cargar? Ay, ok. Mm. Let's give it a try. Mira si se puede pero, venir. Con... Pero ya, ya está. Yeah. Ok, ok.
teacher is about the math. About the math? But mm -hmm. in my case, is a uh, introduction in the introduction. Me, me too. You too? So, yeah. Let's get started. Mm. What's your email address? No, that's not it. I I I, I create my own monster right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. It's just a quiz. It's a quiz. Look at your chat. That's what you should be doing. Let me see what you're getting. Yeah, you need to let it load. Okay, I will try again. Ah, es que le salieron arribita varias opciones, ¿verdad? No. Bueno, ese hacia abajo dice Jerry's uh -huh. Infinitives, ESL Grammar Game. You got it, Anna Sermi? Yeah, okay, cool. Just hit play and then next, next, close, and you will have this first question.
Okay, just two more minutes. Bitch. Mm, <laughs> Stop me. Can stop me doing what I want. One minute. Okay, let's see. Was it difficult? <laughs> You're still playing. Some of you are like, no, nah, that's for kids. Mm -hmm. In the first grade teacher. <laughs> yes. I just got one star. I will try again tomorrow. <laughs> you did one star? Wow. Yeah, my God. Nice. Not even. I, I Everybody's like, three. wow, he got a star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. The pavement was icy, so we walked very carefully. We were afraid of... We were afraid to fall, okay, of mm -hmm. falling. We were afraid falling. What, what was the right answer? Falling. Of falling, right? We were afraid of falling. Let's see. Um, I must go now. I promised not being late, not to be late, to not be late. Not to be. Not to be late. Okay. What do you think, guys? I promised not being late. I promised not to be late. I promised to not be late. I will say not to be. Exactly, not to be late. Some, some games like those are in British, not in American. Let's see, you can stop me. You can stop me. Do what I want. You can stop me to do what I want. You can stop me doing what I want. Doing. You can stop me doing what I want. You can stop me doing what I want, exactly. Stop ING, stop ING. Let's see. Those bananas. Do you want me to come with you or do you want to go alone? Do you want me coming with you? Do you want that I come with you? I don't know. What's the right answer? It was difficult. Do you want me to come? Do you want me coming? Do you want that I come? The first, because I use that, that I can is bad. <laughs> For me, it's the first, come, come. 
do you want me to come with you? Yeah, yeah I think that is, is the And call. it is. I think. That's the right one. Yeah. You want me to come with you. The good part of this exercise is that it, it's, it's ordered. You it's know, if you. Easy. It's not easy. No, it, no, I know. I know. It's not easy. It's not easy. I didn't I say it was easy. It but if you if you go back and try again and try again, it's the same order of the sentences. So. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just try until you get the right answer. Okay. I'm sure I shut the door. I clearly remember to shut it, shutting it, to have shut, shut it. it. Shutting it. Shutting it. Remember ING. That's right. I remember shutting it. Okay. Is this difficult? Is this a difficult topic? Bien, okay. Um, me gustaría escuchar de su parte que qué les ha parecido el tema, lo han encontrado difícil. Hello. Like voy con Carla primero, luego voy con Susana. Ajá, Carlita. Eh, a mí me ha gustado la, eh, eh, la, la, la nueva modalidad porque siento que estoy aprendiendo más uh -huh. eh, porque va explicando eh, como más a detalle y lo vamos, a, y lo vamos aplicando. Por ejemplo, este, esta dinámica de, de, de poder Traducción. transcribir, traducir. Uh -huh. eh, siento que es de las dinámicas que me ayudan más porque ahí yo puedo ver como los errores que cometo al traducirlo yo mismo y ya luego cuando vamos eh, traduciendo con usted. Uh -huh. Y creo que también es de los métodos que a uno más se le quedan al escribirlo uno mismo. Entonces, ah, vale. okay. uh -huh. es decir, recuerde que lo que le decía el básico, los primeros básicos que tuvieron conmigo, yo puedo traducir de una manera una oración, pero usted la puede traducir de otra manera, no sé, ni de otra. Todo depende de, del léxico que tengamos, incluso en el español. Eso es muy importante. Very good. A mí me gusta su nueva dinámica, teacher, la verdad. <ríe> no es mía, es, es simplemente lo que tenemos que estar haciendo. Si se les ocurre algo, díganme igual. No se preocupen, que es de, de apoyarnos también. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Susanita. Hi. I could be at the beginning. I couldn't. I couldn't be the beginning, but I really like the translation, traduction, how do you say? Translation, traduction? the translation. Mm -hmm. The translation, I really like it. And I like when you, I like the exercise when you choose someone for tell you a sentence. To tell you a sentence, uh-huh. Yes, yes, I like, um, okay, I don't remember, okay. The okay, the. The, I feel very nervous the, when it's I was... my turn. I forget it. <laughs> so, okay. you like you like to see people suffering? I know <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's okay. Okay, a little, <laughs> little. not when they pick me, but yeah, <laughs> it's a good game. Yeah, okay. So, let me see. Este, este tema is question de practica nada más. Uh, práctica y ante todo oído ya a este punto ustedes tienen que ir desarrollando el oído a, de, de, usted, de ustedes mismos o sea y hallar esta lógica de uh, bueno que ocupo esto lo otro que se oye mejor right? ahí está todo empezar ya a aterrizar esa, esa, ese pensamiento crítico de, de medida que ustedes vayan hablando ok 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 ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, señores? Eso les quería preguntar también. Es nuestra segunda semana. Este fue nuestro sexto día. Esta noche... Me see, I'm staying with Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Ok. <laughs> Just 10 minutes. Ajá. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma todos? Wilfredo, Wendy, Walter, Sandra, Arena, Gloria. No idea. I work tomorrow in my, in my part. Tomorrow. I, I will. 
I will work tomorrow. <laughs> Good. Hey, ya no faltemos. Ya no faltemos. Ahorita <laughs> estamos comenzando, so hay que tomar sorry, ventaja. Sir, It's okay. I don't could be staying into class. I'm sorry. You're working, I guess, right? Yes. Y eso, eso yes. le decía a Roselena antes, creo, ayer, que realmente yo comprendo ahorita es octubre y se siente como que se terminó el año. Terrible. I mean, y ahorita contabilidad viene de pelos, así de que pobrecitos ustedes. So sorry for you. Anyways. Ah, um, and I said, me estaba diciendo, teacher, what's the difference between afraid and um, yeah. yeah. Fear, afraid, frightened, scared. They're all synonyms. El único que ver was fear. They told the demás son um, adjetivos. To be afraid of, to be afraid to, to be frightened, to be scared of. I'll send you a link so you can study that little topic. It's pretty interesting. Veo que Ana es muy metódica. No por gusto la contabilidad, vea. And it's okay. Different learning learning curves, which is good. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with Carlita just for 10 minutes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present teacher. Good night. Adrián Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good night. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Not good night. Wait. Not good night. <laughs> Kenia Michelle Arasayas is not here, Kenia. Nelson Edgardo, Sánchez Ramírez, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Ajá. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good night, Walter. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carlita. How are you tonight? I am fine, teacher. This uh, this class was uh, was a good. I I love your class. Something I am tired. So you mean that you, you mean that other <laughs> classes, you know, this one, yeah. No, 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 no. But this uh, have another kind of method is very nice. Different methodology, just to make you think, right? Like, okay, how do I do this? <laughs> yeah. So how are you? What have you been up to? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, I have. Um, I need to more practice, more practice because I think that my group, no, my my account of words uh, that I know. I think it's very reduced. I need to learn more words mm -hmm. Hmm. for express better. Mm -hmm. I guess I need to move right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it around. I need to practice more or, uh, or I need more practice. I need more practice. I need to practice more. Either, okay. either both. Okay, I need to more practice now. I need to practice more or I need more practice. Both. Okay, <laughs> so what do you what are you doing to get more vocabulary? I is 
Um, I, I like to listen to music and read the lyrics of, uh, of, of the a songs. song, for, for example. And I, I, I have been continued to, to watch the video that you shared in the class because for me it was very funny. <laughs> For example, Which the, one? Uh, for example, the Ellen Ellen Jenner. Oh, the Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that was good about the generational yeah. gap and all that. So you're yeah. you're looking for more uh, American TV shows, let's say, or yes, yes, it's very difficult to to watch this kind of video in the TV because I need to I need to um and, uh, mm, ex exclusive to channel or to cable to see this kind because for example no. In, uh, no do you have a smart TV yes Teacher, but yes, but in my case, I don't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking you because you can watch YouTube on 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 the yes. TV. Mm -hmm. so, yes, yes. But for me, it's more easy to watch. Oh, the, it's easier. The, easier. <laughs> it's easier for me. It's easier. For me, it's easier to watch in the computer. To watch on the computer. I repeat, yeah. for me, it's easier watching on the computer than. For me, yeah. it's easier watch in the computer. Than on the than TV. On the TV, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will ask you to do something instead. Many or a long time ago, I, I recommended you a website called Juglish. Juglish.com. Mm -hmm that Juglish. website juglish.com and on that website you will find very short videos ah, okay. remember so okay. you can you, you can select um us at the bottom you know us and just type one word okay type, uh for example i don't know how can we do this um if you try to know how to say intervening, let's go to Google intervening. Okay, so you will find intervene, intervene or in, intervene, intervene or intervene. So then you go, hmm, let's go to Juglish and let's see if you can play it. And you will find all the videos. Now, why is this important? You said you need vocabulary. But I think that vocabulary goes together with the pronunciation. Okay. Yes. For me, I think that is very important. And in I when when I watch the different or different of video, uh, I I learn to the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. because yeah. yeah because the 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 presentadores teacher ¿cómo se dice? speechers oh the speaker, yeah. uh -huh. the, the speaker how her uh, their uh, their their ¿cómo se dice? su propio accent su propio Ah, yes, accent, yes. Their own accent. Yeah, Their that's own, that's right. That's right. Listen, listen. Intervene in a mugging in the street go as he goes to the to next work. one. Intervene. And how would he intervene? Intervene. Such as penicillin. But the incidents can fall even when we don't intervene. It might fall because of... Intervene. Mother. So has Facebook attempted to intervene in a way that... It intervene. Okay, I stay with intervene. Intervene, 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 either way. So word by word, word by word. And if you find someone very close to the screen, that's better. That's okay. better. You can mimic the, the pronunciation. It's very important. So, uh-huh. Tell me. <laughs> I, I, 
Uh, another problem I have is that I, ¿cómo se dice? Como las palabras. I eat words. I eat words. Hmm. I not, I not myself a mistake. Uh, because when I, when I have expressed an idea, always I eat the words. Just the way you did right, uh, right now. Um, when yeah. I have expressed, no, when I have to express when an idea. An idea. You said when I have expressed. When I, I have expressed an idea. idea. Uh -huh. says, yeah, when I have expressed an idea. No. When I have to express an idea, I eat. When I eat the word. The word. Oh, it's the word. Uh, okay. I eat. I eat the words. It's work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I eat the words, and it's normal. It's normal. But cómo corrijo eso? A ver, cómo corrijo eso? Y da risa, la verdad. Yo le digo, da risa ver eso y que solo hacer las líneas todos los días, porque hay una magia en eso y es enseñarle al cerebro a equivocarse, o sea, porque eventualmente y es que esto es lo interesante, Carla. Yo uh, desearía que usted viera, bueno, tantos alumnos que, que, que han estado conmigo, que en los que yo he notado esto, hasta de mala gana a veces, porque les exigía cuando yo estaba en clases presenciales, ¿no? Los, de, los uh, exprimo, de verdad, en los niveles básicos. O sea, que me trae la tarea o me la trae o me la trae, sino que estamos haciendo aquí. Así de simple. Si quiere aprender. Uh -huh. No le digo que se vaya, pero lógico, ¿no? Quieres aprender de verdad, métale. Hay gente que hasta chía. Ahí en inglés corporativo, en una clase, um, hice una buena amistad, un señor ya de 60 años eh, que trabaja en ANDA. Y en una clase, ahí se puso, se trabó todo. Y le digo yo, ¿y qué te pasa? ¿Por qué te trabaste? No sé, me dice, no sé. A vos alguien te dijo algo cuando estabas pequeño, le porque a vos le hablaba. Alguien te dijo algo cuando estabas pequeño que te dijo que no podías hacer eso de pasar a, a hablar en público. Y se quedó en blanco y dice, se le hizo un nudo en la garganta. Y dice, cabal. Uh -huh. Eso fue. Me fregó mi papá. Me dijo. Híjole. Y todos en la clase. Ay, aterrizar, <risas> aterrizar esas cosas incluso ayudan. Entonces, y después él agarró esto de las de las, las planas, como él le decía, pero esto es una tarea, una cosa de repetición constante. Mágicamente, el cerebro es más poderoso que uno, Carla, y va aprendiendo la gramática, y ya le empieza a aplicar la tarea que uno está haciendo diario, a diario, y empieza a darse cuenta, y nombre, I have it, ¿qué te falta aquí? I have it, el tú, I have to eat. Sí, y, y de hecho creo que voy a empezar a implementar eso, de estar haciendo oraciones y traduciéndolas, porque... Hoy que, que hicimos eso, porque uno deja de hacer estas cosas. Entonces, pero hoy que lo estábamos haciendo, empecé a recordar lo que a uno le vienen enseñando, porque antes a uno le ponían a hacer el montón de plano. Entonces, pero en realidad solo así se aprende. Sí, sí, enfrentándose uh -huh. al reto de, uh -huh. de poner en práctica lo que está aprendiendo. O sea, los profesores tradicionales de antes llegaban a contar la vida personal toda la clase y nada que ver, ¿verdad? Y todo esto sí. viene en el examen. Así es. Eso. Ánimo, el punto es hacer algo, ¿ok? Sí. Bueno. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Enjoy your night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. <laughs>